Although the things I say in my videos are based on the science and my extensive experience, they are often controversial. One of them is my stance on the carnivore diet. I get the angriest and dumbest comments on YouTube, especially from these cult followers. They don't bother to watch my many hours of videos where I constantly cite the over 1,000 scientific references built into my presentations. They just viscerally disagree because I'm saying something that is in opposition to their brainwashing. This video is not for them. This video is for everyone else who is open-minded. As I have told my boys for many years, you can't have a rational conversation with an irrational person. And with my quote in mind, I've decided to include some famous quotes on stupidity, which I love, some of which you may recognize. That being said, I'm not immune to saying and doing stupid things. However, I know my limitations. For example, I'm terrible at physics and calculus, which would make me a catastrophic rocket scientist. You don't see me writing Elon Musk and telling him that his rocket, it's too round at top. It needs to be pointy. Round is not scary. Pointy is scary. It is too round on the top. It needs to be pointy. Round is not scary. Pointy is scary. <laughs> but when it comes to the microbiome, you won't find anyone better, which comes in handy for you if you need my help. So the following comments from my YouTube channel are the equivalent of the rocket needs to be more pointy. We begin with this funny quote from Einstein and this YouTube comment, which is anything but intelligent. First, in the video referenced, or in any video, I never said healthy oxalates. But thanks for putting words into my mouth. For more on oxalates, I'll have a video coming out on the topic in the coming weeks. In my videos, I recognize that people stop reacting to food as much on the carnivore diet as animal proteins don't have the same capacity to aggravate a ramped up immune system as do plant-based foods. But the solution is not a carnivore diet, as it will only worsen the microbiome, ultimately driving a worsening of the immune dysregulation. This genius then comments on my quote, nonsense talk about fiber. Here is some of my nonsense talk on fibers with scientific references built into each video, which you're welcome to read. Then we have this who says, fiber causes colon loss in humans. How stupid. Perhaps you should watch my videos where I endlessly discuss the benefits of butyrate producing bacteria, among other topics. Here are a few suggestions. Again, you're welcome to read the references. And we have this comment, where the recommendation is 99%, not 100% carnivore. Oh, okay. Feel free to watch my data-driven carnivore videos where I logically explain to you what's going on when there is excess protein fermentation in the gut and how that impacts your health. Then we have this comment, a classic example of a good argument from a cult member. Here is a new reference I haven't posted before in rebuttal of this response, where they state, quote, a suitable ratio between protein and carbohydrate or even a low protein diet is recommended based on the evidence that excessive protein intake adversely affects health. Supplying high and undigested proteins will encourage pathogens and protein fermenting bacteria to increase the risk of diseases. And who are these encouraged pathogens? The ones I talk about all the time, like E. coli, Klebsiella, Fusobacterium, etc. For more, watch these videos and more. Or there is this paper I haven't yet put in any video either, which states, quote, protein fermentation mainly occurs in the distal colon when carbohydrates get depleted and results in the production of potentially toxic metabolites such as ammonia, amines, phenols, and sulfides. I mentioned toxic metabolites in these videos and more. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and recommend to friends and family. Also, if you're feeling extra generous, hit the super thanks below. And then there is this new paper to my videos, which states, quote, the amount of protein in a given meal influences how much protein reaches the colon, where it can drive microbial processes such as protein fermentation. Then they mention at the bottom highlighted in yellow, IBD, CRC, colorectal cancer, and metabolic diseases. 
Here are those videos of mine, colorectal cancer, I showed you earlier. I could show you examples of these types of papers all day long. But let's get back to the comments. Then we have this armchair expert who says that I have never done the carnivore diet. How does he know? Who also says fiber is completely unnecessary. Well, good luck with that. Who also says plants poison us. Even though the longest lived people on the planet are not carnivores in the slightest who don't eat that much food, and when they do, it's more plant than protein. Now, I don't advocate a vegan diet. That's equally crazy. What I advocate is balance and the intelligent use of supplements and diet. For example, here is a comment from someone attacking the keto diet, which is a cousin of the carnivore diet. If you watch my videos, I state that the proper use of the keto diet can be helpful in some individuals. I have seen it work multiple times. It didn't work for this person, but that's their experience. To say, quote, and none of this is true, is ludicrous. Then we come to my favorite two comments. This brilliant YouTube comment states that, quote, fiber is indigestible. Uh, yeah, no sh <laughs> That's the whole point. I state that in almost every video, that the locked up sugars and what we call prebiotics aren't fuel for us. We can't access them with our limited enzymes. However, the microbiome can, with its far larger arsenal of enzymatic machinery. And who tends to love these locked up sugars? The good guys. Prebiotics are fuel-free microbiome. If you're familiar with my videos, you've seen this slide before. It comes from thousands of hours of reading and diligent note-taking. Collected here are the great universal or almost universal health-promoting taxa of the gut. These health-promoting bacteria have been found to be consistently, significantly higher in the healthier cohorts, and significantly lower in the unhealthy ones across all diseases. And most of these make butyrate via the acetyl-CoA pathway from locked up sugars that our body can't access. But these health-promoting bacteria can with their broad array of enzymes. At the core of what I do is a focus on driving significant change in the microbiome by feeding these amazing bacteria, names of which you're likely unfamiliar and which do not exist as probiotics. Watch my videos and learn. My perspective is different and it works. How do I know? Because I get tons of emails from people who have bought my protocols or had consultations with me and then thank me for changing their lives for the better. You can read a couple of the latest comments on YouTube here, or you can watch this video here or you can go to my website here and view written and video testimonials. I challenge any carnivore influencer to an intelligent debate. I'll stand behind the science. And what the science says is that in this lifestyle we have, our microbiome is constantly taking hits. Whether it's not getting started off in life with an ideal microbiome, or the number one culprit for dysbiosis, too many antibiotics, or excessive PPI use, or too much daily stress, or something else, you have to understand what dysbiosis is doing to your immune system. The solution is not to worsen your microbiome with the low FODMAPs diet or the carnivore diet, which can be short-term solutions. I understand that. They are symptom avoidance, short-term gain for long-term pain. What you want is to rectify your hyperinflammatory immune system which is always looking for a fight. That way you can return to a normal health-promoting diet, a diet that the rest of us can enjoy because our immune systems are more tolerant. If any of this resonates with you, then feel free to watch any of the videos I've highlighted here. Also, feel free to share your carnivore experience in the comments. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, somewhere around here, you can go to my website where you can schedule a consultation with me. You can also view the protocols. And here, you can watch the next video.